Hi, what's your name? Oh. Hi, I'm Jordan White. I'm the founder of an organizer at Streetcast NYC. How is it? So, so, um, why are you here at GameStop on 84? Well, I'm here because there is a giant Kid Icarus tournament at GameStop sponsored by Nintendo of America. Um, the tournament, you win a lot of amazing Nintendo prizes and GameStop prizes, including a $500 uh, gift card. Uh, but I honestly, you know, I entered the tournament. I don't really care for the tournament. I'm just a big fan of Kid Icarus. And I couldn't believe that after about 20, 25 years. I was I was about five years old when I played at a friend's NES and to see it come back in this such a big way. There's no way in hell I could have missed this. So um, what do you? How do you think about you know how GameStop, Nintendo? You know, how do you think they... Oh, this well, is, you know, I feel like the most of, like, the life cycle on the Wii and DS, like, there wasn't really any GameStop interaction. It seems like every time, uh, it seems like every time, you know, you saw commercials, it's always like, you go to GameStop and you get this free bag of candy on 360, which I didn't care for. But, you know, if, if Nintendo's going to keep having stuff like this with GameStop, I say, keep, keep doing it, because this this went really well, really smooth, really professional. I, I've been having tons and tons of fun. It's free food. I can't be any happier. Now, do you think this is more of a partnership type move or do you think they're trying to, you know, this is more sponsorship? Or? I think this is definitely a partnership type move. I mean, you hear on the press all the time that Nintendo wants to really go back to that hardcore audience with Wii U. And since GameStop is like the epigenome of the hardcore audience, when you think of every game, Skyrim, Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, you think of GameStop midnight launches. Uh, <laughs> if they're trying to get back so that 3DS, you know, we proved it's a hardcore gaming machine. I've looked up statistics. The average person who plays a Nintendo 3DS is between 18 and 23, which is a similar demographic for the hardcore demographic. Uh, if this is what they're trying to squeeze in, so that way when Wii U comes out, they get a big GameStop launches. Uh, that's what I think is probably going to happen in a couple of years. Now, um, so the event, you like the event? I've gotten that, and um, now. So, Kid Icarus, the game. Now, how do you think? Do you think it's going to be better originally, better next gen, or? Honestly, it probably could get better, but I have to think really hard about how it could. Because it seems like there's like everything, the kitchen sink and your neighbor's kitchen sink in this thing. It's like um, you have the single player mode running around like crazy, like truly insane 3D graphics. I haven't seen 3D graphics this good since Tron Evolution, the movie. Um, it has this huge multiplayer where even though I did good but I still lost, I want to go back in again. I've been having tons of fun. And then endless amount of collectibles, not only in game but with cards and these 3D animes that were sent to us as promotion and as I been telling you know people around here uh, as like an ex Banjo Kazooie fan and also someone who liked Mortal Kombat between Mortal Kombat and Kid Icarus this should be a textbook example of how to bring an old franchise back and make your fans happy because I'm certainly happy as a huge fan. Well, there you have it from Jordan. Oh, uh, sorry, Jordan White. Uh, uh, what? Jordan White, Street Pass NYC fan. Can I say one quick thing? Yep. Of course. Eggplant Wizard, I'm coming for you. You're not turning me to eggplants anymore. I was sick of it. I was sick of it 20 years ago, and I won't take it anymore in this game. <laughs>